Oh hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesoundlab.tv. Today we're going to be uh, talking about uh, patch bays, extremely simple ways of thinking about patch bays and how to set them up. Let's check it out. When I first had a patch bay, I had no idea what to do with it. In fact, I would look it up online, I would, I would research and I would spend probably 20 minutes reading a single article because it was so intense had explanations for normaling and all this stuff. It just became overwhelming. So this is a, a, a new trick patch bay, a really simple, just plain old quarter inch patch bay. And based on how you have these cards arranged, you can take off this faceplate here and flip these cards around. Uh, based on how those cards are arranged, whether they're backwards or right side out, uh, determines what they do. So um, the way that my studio is set up originally was to take microphone signals and have them coming in and they go into a preamp. So they're hardwired into that preamp. So channel 12 on the snake in the live room is coming into preamp number 12, okay? But then after the preamps, this is where we can get something interesting. That's where the patch bay comes in, okay? So after the preamp originally, I just had it going straight into um, the interface, okay? The input, okay? However you convert in your signal, um, audio signals into the digital signal that goes into your DAW, right? Basically, you're looking to take the output of something and do one of these things. So, take the output of, say, channel 8, okay, which is the preamp, preamp channel 8 right here in my hand, and it flows like waterfall coming up off the ledge of the waterfall. So, water flows down. So, the output of the pre, the signal flows down into the input of the digital interface. Okay, that's how that's how simple it is. That's all it's doing. Okay, now you'll notice that like when I record, I don't have to have like every single one. Like you know, I don't have to have a cable in every single um, jack here. I could, but that's not how I have it set up. So what the half normaling does is that it actually does just that without anything in it. So it's automatically flowing from the preamp out, going right into our converters, which go into the computer. So that's pretty sweet. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Now, this other half, this other half is actually opposite. So you'd, you would have to actually take, uh, take the preamp, for example, if this were a preamp out, and you'd have to manually plug it in and say, yes, go into my interface because I want to record it in my computer, okay? That's really how this second half is set up, okay? So it does nothing. All, all it is is it's basically giving me a chance to basically twist tie a couple wires together, okay? That's literally all it's doing. So these are uh, compressors, uh, EQ, and some digital outputs. Um, so the trick to this is why would you ever want to do say an input and an output of say an EQ or a compressor, you know, an output back into the input. Okay, you wouldn't want to do that. It's like, uh, why would you ever take an output of a guitar pedal, plug it directly into the input? It doesn't do that, okay? You want it to go somewhere else. So these here, preamp out going into the converter. Okay, so it's half normal, automatically goes there. For this, it goes nowhere. It just It's basically just open wires that we have to kind of take two wires, twist them together to kind of create the signal flow. Um, and that's how it works. It's super easy like that, okay? Now you can read an article online that takes you 20 minutes to read it and it's just very confusing. Um, but that's literally all there is to it, okay? This is half normal, this is not. That's all there is to it. How do we use this? Well. Output of a pre, and normally with nothing on the patch bay, it just goes right in, okay? But we don't see that. We don't see it. So, take the pre, go to a compressor, okay? Like a waterfall, water flows down. Then the output of the compressor back into the input so that our computer can hear the signal. Okay, this is our interface input. Pre out, interface input, compressor input, Compressor output, see? So preamp out, compressor input, compressor output, interface input, okay? Out over in, okay? That's all there is to it. Here's something cool, is because this automatically flows down, 
but we're using cables as well, we actually have two signals happening. So the signal will still go, like if, if I do nothing, um, this input actually still gets signal, even though we didn't actually plug it back in. Um, so what we can do is we can put it somewhere else. Okay, so don't do it into the input that you're talking into. Anything you plug in the bottom is going to override whatever naturally is flowing down from the top. Um, so for, for in this example, we have nothing in channel 11. I'm speaking in channel 10. If I plug in a channel 10, then it gets overridden by whatever I'm doing here. Um, so just a few little tricks. You'll get the hang of it. If you want to set these one up, it's, it's, you know, it's really not that hard. Um, there's a few things to remember, like, hey, why is it my mic working? Well, it's because you accidentally plugged something in as a demonstration while talking in it. Don't do that, or don't forget that something's plugged in. The next day you realize, why doesn't channel eight work? Well, it's because you have something plugged in. It's overriding what you're trying to naturally let flow from the output to the input. So that was my patch bay. Uh, I hope you found this helpful. Let me know in the comments below what you thought and if you have any questions. I'll see you.